a leader who will, who will lead you to progress. We deserve better. We don't have to follow sweet nothings. You want to lead. It's not you have a handsome face or a beautiful dress. It's what are you going to do for us? Unat perekawapi. When you get another Idamin, don't blame me. You'll have voted that Idamin into power. Just because you are excited. This uh, lady, Hirarode, comes here promising you heaven and us as if he has ever been to heaven when he has never been. <laughs> and then you sing and put a finger and say, Hirarode, Savior. And the next day, the man turns into a monster. When you've created him, you can't remove him. So be careful. We've walked a long path. I'm sure we've faltered along the way. Faltering is not the problem. The problem is inability to learn from your mistakes. The inability to learn from your mistakes is the problem. But making mistakes is, is human. It's only a stationary car that doesn't raise dust. But when you've raised dust and you've noticed it, do you inherit it? No. Not at all. I am scared by we Ugandans celebrating the death of General Wum and not questioning whether it was worthy for him to die. Why? Why did he have to die? Why did he die and we went on with it, I mean, as if nothing had happened? Once beaten, twice shy. Learn to stand up and speak. Learn to stand up and speak. D don't quarrel. There is a difference between d freedom of expression and rioting. Th this is the problem I have with some of my, my friends in the opposition. They say they are exercising the right to speak, but then they, they bring stones. They... So I say, freedom of expression is legitimate and legal. But royalty is illegitimate and a crime. So choose. I encourage you, Ugandans, to speak. Nobody should gag you. I encourage you, Ugandans, to speak, to exercise your right of freedom of expression, freedom of association. I, I, I didn't acknowledge my friend, the president of the UPC. I'm sorry, Jimmy. We are friends. Now, I found him at Pamozi Hotel in Zambia. He was very young, but he was sharp. I was head of the Secret Service of Uganda. Now, I asked him, I said, but Jimmy, the way you are talking, you could be very useful in Uganda. And he said, sorry, I, I, I can't come. Because I'm opposed to you. I told him, I will tell you. That, but we are working with people who are shooting at us yesterday. For you, you wrote down as a little, as throw the stone at a passing military vehicle. We are working with people who are shooting at us, you. Then he told me he was about his son. I said, look at him. I'm also my father's son. <laughs> Where is it written? In the laws of Uganda, the laws of the church, and the... And and the rest of God, that a son cannot come to Uganda. 
I am very glad that Jimmy Akena has come back and is contributing to the rebuilding of this country and is my friend, faithful and just. That's the way we should live on earth. Our life on earth is just, like I've always said, is just an infinitesimal pause in eternity. Uganda was there without you, it's here with you, it will be here long after you are gone. Just make your contribution. Don't try it on Uganda. Just make your contribution. That's, that's what we ask of you. To be a good Ugandan. And to be a good Ugandan, you must embrace every Ugandan, everybody who ascribes to Uganda. Whether he's from Soro, or Uraba, or Karamajong, if he's not coming to wrestle our, our cows. In fact, I was telling somebody, we should put these Angkori cows between Achori and, and Karamoja because they don't walk. <laughs> we should just get all these cows and put them there. When they come to steal them, we shall catch them because they, they, those cows don't walk. You can't, you can't chase them. My Lord, I'm glad you are here. I have known the Chief Justice from the time he was in CA. I commend him to you, the people of Achori. He is a nice man. And I'm not very fond of compliments. I'm not very fond of compliments. But Justice Owinidoro is a nice man. And I call him a friend. I call him a friend because I saw in him capacity to speak for the downtrodden. My ideological identity is struggle. Struggle for the oppressed. My mantra is voice for the voiceless. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May I take this opportunity to ask the, His Grace the Chief, the, the Archbishop, to come and address us. But I thought the Archbishop was going to, to give us a vote of thanks. <laughs> thank you. A round of applause to the Minister of Internal Affairs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May I invite the area bishop who will in turn invite his grace and thereafter his grace will invite the chief guest and we will then sing anthems in the reverse order, each one stanza. And thereafter we 